of y, in this case, y comes from a binomial distribution. So the variance of y, given that it comes from a binomial distribution, so if y with parameter to n's and tau's, is n tau 1 minus tau. So this is where the variance you think of in terms of y. What's the variance of my data, not of my distribution that represents my posterior? And once again, you do your, your best guess of your estimate is y plus 1 divided by n plus 2, as before, which is equal to y divided by n plus 2 plus 1 over n plus 2. So the variance of n tau Ah, so, so the variance, let's go with tau b, is the variance of y over n plus 2 plus 0. Okay. So the variance of tau at beta, so the, beta, the Bayesian estimator is the variance of that. Well, that's the variance of this bit up here is 0. So just send it straight to 0. And that's equal to 1 over n plus 2 squared times the variance of y. That's all first year stuff. And then you plug in the relevant bits. So you get n tau 1 minus tau divided by n plus 2 to be squared. And that's the variance of the Bayesian estimator of tau, it's so the proportion. So you combine that with the bias of the Bayesian estimator, which if you remember correctly was 1 minus 2 tau over n plus 2. We can then calculate what's known as the mean square of the estimator. estimator and that's the bias squared plus the variance so it's in this case 1 minus 2 tau to be squared divided by n plus 2 to be squared oh that's quite nice because we have plus n tau 1 minus tau divided by n plus 2 squared. So we have the same denominator, so it becomes quite an easy sum to get. And that's the bias, the variance, and the mean square of the estimator. Okay, not of the distribution.